All right, my people, welcome back. On this one, it says, Stop misleading Yoruba people. Group caution Yoruba appraisal forum. All right, my people, the news in details. Well, on to this, the Yoruba Nation Global Directorate, the Yoruba government in exile has lambasted the group otherwise known as Why He Have been the Yoruba Appraiser Forum for visiting some prominent Yoruba royal fathers to mislead them with their anti-people position in Yoruba struggle. Well, in a statement issued by the Directorate Director, Princess Adeola Atayero Olamijulo. All right, on the onto this, she said Yoruba people needed to observe closely who are their sponsors. They need to honestly tell the world who are the drummers of these Uromis dancing on Yoruba social political waterway. It will be recalled that it will be recalled that few days ago. The YHF paid some Yoruba Urbas a courtesy call. The royal fathers, in their response, advised against self-determination and then asked the agitators to tow the path of peace with the federal government. All right, and then on to this, Prince Olamijulo said YHF are like the name the bear. They appeared to have appraised the Yoruba nation. It perceives as commodity to be sold to the highest bidder. All right, and then she said, let us examine the major points of their advocacy. One, that the Yoruba should continue to endure the current Fulani induced meta crisis in nigeria second that advocacy for yoruba self-determination may lead to war with the rest of nigeria three that the prevailing clamor for yoruba self-determination effort is fueled by selfish interest of some politicians four that nigeria was the architect of economic success of the southwest Five, they urge the youth to seek the available gainful employment rather than agitate for autonomy. Six, that YHF needs to answer the question whose actions are provocative and world laden. Seven, who is misappropriating the power entrusted to them, the government impostors implementing the Fulani national interest instead of the true Nigerian national interest. All right, and then number eight, who is the aggressor? Who is the victim? Who is killing, maiming, raping, and then uh, scorched ethan? Who? Princess Ateyero Olamijulo claimed that the Yoruba are on the receiving end of the atrocities, yet YHF is asking us to stay put till it is too late to be viable. She positioned that normally if faced with danger, humans have the options to fight, flee, or succumb. Well, what is YHF asking the Yoruba nation to do? Will the Yoruba remain and then submit to Fulani supremacy? Messist control or will they take flight and then disperse to the sea or the desert or turn global worker about and then live in virtual nation state located only in their collective epic memory while the Fulani occupy the enjoy the land and um, the valuables therein that Yoruba are their ancestors built up for ages? Well, is why have asking the Yoruba to take the submission option to appease the Fulani and then become their slaves or manure to fertilize their unsuppled unsubbed land? Well, why have apparently is exhibiting the pathological state indicative of the protracted abuse they suffered in nigeria over time they now identify with their chronic abuser 
a function of Stockholm syndrome. Why have seems apparently bribed by the preserver of the status quo, who obviously derive immense benefits from the present chaotic state in Nigeria. Let us appeal to why have sponsors to stay away from confusing our traditional rulers. They should desist from smearing our royal fathers with their pathological state of mindset. We should let sanity prevail. Let us draw a lesson from history. The stalwarts in quest for Yoruba freedom should take a cue form history well okay and then we cannot continue to appease the fulani nationalism aimed at destroying other nigerians rather we should resist it it will boomerang on the yoruba survival trust if we pursue an appeasement strategy well appeasement of the aggressor never succeeds in human history the chamberlain 1938 appeasement policy to Adolf Hitler led to World War II gory warfare. Hmm. Princess Olamijulo recalled that the Native American's successive appeasement to the invading Europeans led to the demise of the Native American NA nations. NA yielded their treasured land to the European settlers, adopted their religion, spoke their language and then way of life to appease the Euro Europeans. Yet, to no avail, what did they get in return? Annihilation, the Yoruba have no choice but to fight for self determination. Any other suggestion will doom our group survival. All right, and then we can also draw further lessons from recent history of the other struggles for self determination in Zimbabwe and in South Africa. In Rhodesia, Lane Smith illegally enacted with minority regime there the ill fated unilateral declaration of independence UD from Britain 1965. Well, the African opposed and then a series of negotiations with the intransigent racist regime failed. The Africans led by Joshua Nkomo and then Robert Mugabe opposed Smith regime via the Patriotic Front insurgency. Well, when the opposition were gaining diplomatic and their military sources to buy time, the illegal regime sought alliance with the traditional ruler, Chief Sikireta Shirao, the cleric pacifist Bishop Abel, Muzorewa and the politician Ndabanigi, Sitole Smith renamed the country Zimbabwe, Rhodesia to reflect the alliance. Well, the PF team were smart to refuse and then the rest is history. Well, the independence nation of Zimbabwe was born. Identical situation happened in South Africa when the efforts of the African Congress Alliance were about to yield fruitful results. The apartheid regime forged on only alliance with the Zulu and then other tribal chiefs to slow down the apparent progress ANC was making diplomatically and then to a lesser extent militarily via insurgency. Chief Gasha Butelezi, led by conservative Boers, introduced what he called Ndaba initiative to dialogue between the Africans and the racist regime to South Africa. The ill-conceived ploy failed. The ANC triumphed and then apartheid disbanded. Princess Olamijulo advised that the Yoruba freedom fighters should not relent their effort. Victory is near and then certain because Otito ni leke iro truth shall prevail. Lori Otito la gbe i jagbara Yorubale awa la le 
la leke bi o juro shen leke o mi a shell all right oh, and then this is our minute on this one well according to replies majority of people actually replied to this and then benjamin akin says well thank you the traitors among us will die on timely death this struggle will come to pass all right my people that has been made on this one what more can we say meanwhile let me have more take from you on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks always Yes.